Enos Cantor Freedom reveals 17 black NBA players who are making tens of millions of dollars off sneakers made in China. Boston Celtics center Enos Cantor has gone months denouncing his NBA brethren for not doing more to bring light to the denials of basic liberties in China. His endeavors are notwithstanding those of a bipartisan alliance in Congress that has gone after NBA players who are keeping up with their contracts and partnerships with four Chinese organizations blamed for being complicit in that infringement. Li Ning, Anta, Peak, and 361 Degrees, all of which have NBA stars as reps are distinguished by the U.S. government and basic liberty groups as utilizing constrained work to create their merchandise in China. Nike and Adidas and other notable brands that utilize competitor endorsers across sports have, as of late, gone away from cotton and other materials made in China following worldwide objections to China's labor practices. Be that as it may, Chinese organizations seem to be highly intrigued by the NBA and its players, right? And they have countered with an enthusiastic vow to maintain and continue to utilize the same labor practices that everyone is against. This insubordinate position leaves NBA players filling in as pitchmen for brands blamed for utilizing slaves for work. Enos kind of freedom has even tweeted regarding the same issue and also asked everyone to question these athletes as well. Shortly after the reports were out revealing some of the names endorsing Chinese brand, the Celtic player took to Twitter and blasted the NBA and its players in a tweet he stated these are all nba players who are sponsoring chinese companies that produce their products with slave labor unfortunately many sports media outlets and journalists are controlled by the nba he says have some courage and ask these athletes about their ignorance this was stated by enos Cantor freedom in recent tweets the players that he listed were precious achua Jimmy Butler, Hamadou Diallo, Spencer Dinwiddie, Aaron Gordon, RJ Hampton, Udonis Haslam, Kevin Looney, Terrence Mann, CJ McCollum, D'Angelo Russell, and Klay Thompson. These are some big names in the list. Klay Thompson, CJ, and many other players as well. But the glaring, the glaring thing about this list is that all of the players he named are black businessmen. However, it is a fact that the association cannot do anything about these endorsements and the brands that players want to associate with. NBA Commissioner Adam Silva said, and the league has no authority over player endorsements. Players choose which sports uh, wear companies they partner with, and those partnerships are not subject to approval by the NBA. Lately, NBA players have been commended for their civil rights activism, with many participating in fights alongside BLM. However, uh, Luis Grieve, head of the worldwide support for uh, Ugar Human Rights Project, said that they hazard discoloring their all around acquired notorieties when they defend their basic freedoms at home, yet disregard them abroad. U.S. legislators and freedoms groups say NBA stars, given their social impact, could have an effect in controlling China's conduct on and off the chance that they decide to leave the Chinese organizations that they have partnered with. Hey, salute, man. It's Lamont here with FYF Sports, man. Just wanted to touch on this topic right here with Enos Cantor, a player for the Boston Celtics. Um, who is continuously going after NBA players because um, they uh, and a lot of NBA players are just not standing up with him to fight this fight against the Chinese government. Um, and you know what? Hey, Enos Cantor. One thing you need to understand, and this is just my personal message here at FYF Sports. When you take up these fights... 
you need to fight the fight first yourself, right? Fight the fight first yourself and, and people who support you will join. All right, but Enos Cantor, it's extremely difficult uh, for black NBA players, especially I believe the black NBA players that he's decided to call out it's extremely hard for them to fight the fight that they need to fight here in the United States for African-Americans who, um, who, who are also themselves dealing with the number uh, uh, of social injustices that still need to get balanced out, need to get corrected in this society. And we've seen a number of players financially step up. We've seen them morally step up. We've seen them say things in public. We've seen them, you know, talk about these issues publicly. But we've seen these African-American players step forward and address this. I think it's sad that Enos Kanter is now asking black players in this league to sacrifice their money simply for a cause that he feels strongly in. Because Enos Kanter, if you're calling out the NBA, right, if you're going up against the grain, if, if you really want to show if you really want to show your support as opposed to asking these NBA players to sacrifice their money and contracts and partnerships with companies in China, well, why don't you step away from the NBA who has NBA itself has multiple partnerships and media deals with China, right? Why don't you step away from the NBA and NBA, this organization that you're attacking, they're paying your paycheck, give that paycheck up and step away from the NBA if you feel so strongly about it. But Enos Kanter, if you're not willing to sacrifice a dime of your own money, I don't believe that you have any place to be asking black athletes to sacrifice a dime of their money. Because again, if I'm a black athlete, the first thing I'm gonna ask you Enos Kanter is, if I'm gonna sacrifice this deal, right, for a cause that you are supporting heavily, well, my first question would be was, what money and what have you done to support the African-American plight here in the United States? Have you donated money? Have you donated time? Have you done more than just run your mouth and complain? Because it's just starting to look as if Enos Kanter is just running around complaining to anyone that can listen. The Celtics have played the Lakers multiple times. He's yet to say anything to LeBron James. Yet he's continuously calling LeBron James out. He's playing all of these players that he lists, all of these players that he listed here. And I'm going to pull the list up right now. They've played the Toronto Raptors. They played the Miami Heat. He hasn't said anything to Preston Zachua. He hasn't said anything to Jimmy Butler about this. He hasn't said anything to Spencer Dinwiddie or talked about any conversations that he's had with him. He hasn't has said anything to Aaron Gordon. He hasn't said anything to R.J. Hampton, who is a young player in this league. He definitely hasn't said anything to Udonis Haslam. To my recollection, he hasn't spoken with Kevin Looney, Terrence Mann, C.J. McCollum, D'Angelo Russell, or even Klay Thompson. Yet, he's running around in the media crying about their partnership deals with shoe companies that are based out of China. He's asking these players to split ties over his social, uh, uh, um, his, this is his social fight. It, this is a fight that seemingly Enos Cantor wants to take up. All right. If you're going to ask these players to fight for you as a player, what I would be asking you, Enos Cantor, is what have you done for us and what have you sacrificed for our community? How many paychecks have you sacrificed? Enos Cantor is talking about how he hasn't received any endorsement deals. Enos Cantor is running around talking about, he says, since I've taken up this push against China, I haven't received any endorsement deals. Enos Cantor, I want to I wanna ask you, who the hell was giving you any endorsement deals even before you started this, this push going against China? When were you that player, right? Like some of the players that you named, like Jimmy Butler, he's an all-star in this league. Clay Thompson is an all-star and a recognizable name. People actually buy his jerseys, similar to CJ McCollum, right? We can even go as far as saying that players like Gordon Hayward, Aaron Gordon, and all of these, all of the players that you're sitting here calling out have bigger names than you. 
people actually buy their jerseys. Right? So you're losing endorsement deals. I believe that the NBA is your only paycheck. Right? Give that only paycheck up. If you're going to be asking black NBA players, right? Because this is, we've seen what Stefan Marbury did by going over to China. We saw what Stefan Marbury did, right? When he was pushed out of the league, he went over to China. He re recreated his entire brand and image. He's looked at completely differently over there, right? How are you going to approach somebody like Stefan Marbury, who went over to China, recreated not just himself as a basketball player and became a basketball god over there, but he he created a brand over there that's set in stone and is going to be, you know, long lasting. He became a millionaire because of that. You're going to tell someone like Stefan Marbury to cut ties with China because of your personal beliefs, because of how you feel about what's going on in China. Because of your fight and your beef with that country. Again, I, I tell people, some people need to start putting their money where their mouth is. We talk a lot about people who do these little social social pushes. They speak publicly on other players. They make all these claims, yet they're not willing to sacrifice a dime or do anything to sacrifice themselves. What Enos Kanter is doing right now, Enos Kanter is creating a career for himself after basketball is over. His basketball life is coming to an end. He will not be in the league much longer, right? He was already one of the worst defensive players in the NBA, right? He was barely, he was barely scraping playing time out in Portland. He's not seeing any playing time with Boston. After this year, probably won't be getting another, uh, you know, unless, unless he has multiple years on this particular deal, after this contract expires, he's probably not going to be looked at significantly for major roles on the team maybe a minimum deal at best but he's on his way out the league and so as you're on your way out the league you now are taking th this time to slander your nba brethren just for media fame and i only am calling what he's doing out for media fame because i'm seeing a lot of people use the things that he's saying to attack these nba players and none of these people actually care about what's going on in China. No one's boycotted Chinese products. Every All of these people are still buying Chinese. They're, you, they're, they're just using it to point and, the point and pick at NBA players they don't like. Enos Kanter, that's all you're creating. You're just creating bigger monsters. People that hate LeBron James are now going to use this right as additional fuel to that fire for more LeBron James slander. Oh, LeBron James isn't doing anything about what's going on in China. He's supporting it. Oh, is he? I don't think anybody is supporting what's going on over there in China. Right? Nobody, nobody is supporting it. Right? But not everyone can fight that particular fight, especially when you're African-American and you have your own plight and fight to fight here in the United States. And the job is far from finished. I, I just don't understand why Enos Kanter feels the need to sit here and call other NBA players out. And he is yet to show me, outside of running his mouth, show me one tangible solution, anything that you've provided or offered up to rectify what's going on in China. Have you reached out to, to diplomats over there? Are you willing to have sit down conversations over there? Are you willing to go talk with the owners of those companies about the conditions of those workplaces? If you haven't done any of these things, why are you running your mouth about other NBA players and you haven't taken any actionable actions yourself? You haven't done anything tangible, intangible, right? I don't respect people like that. You're just running your mouth. You're not setting You can't not set a good example by just running your mouth, pointing your finger at other people. And, and now you're going as far as asking them to sacrifice their dollars and cents because of a social issue that you want to get behind and push right he reminds me of that kid in the neighborhood that won't fight on his own he reminds me of that kid in the neighborhood that has to go run and get bobby charlie uh, xyz behind him before he'll throw the first punch enos canner throw the first punch Just leave the nba right Leave the NBA. Jerseys. The NBA just signed a, 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 a merchandise deal with Nike. 
All the jerseys have Nike logos on it. Leave the NBA if you want to stop wearing that Nike jersey. He's not going to do that. He's not going to voluntarily leave that money. So if Enos Kanter, if you're not voluntarily giving up your millions of dollars, please shut up and stop asking these other NBA players to give up their millions of dollars. And when you talk about even young players like RJ Hampton, a guy that just got here in the league, signs a deal with Lee Ning, a shoe deal, right? You're going to ask a, a young player who hasn't even tapped into his tapped into his potential NBA net worth. You're going to ask him to give up that type of money, right? This is money that this is this is money that he could take and put into social uh, social so social issues or any in his endeavors that he may be looking to hit. You know, what what if CJ McCollum is looking to take some of his money from his deal with Lee Ning and build community centers and urban communities? So he's not supposed to take those checks. He's going to stop taking those checks to build those community centers for black kids in urban communities because you don't like what's going on over in China. Like I said before, there are there are a lot of different things going on in a lot of countries that we don't agree with. But we can't fight every fight, right? There's things going on in Colombia that aren't fair with the drug wars, right? There's things going on in Africa with the wars, the famine, but we can't fight every fight. There's things going on in China that we don't like, that we don't agree with. Obviously, we can't fight every single fight. Enos Kanter, maybe this is just your fight to fight right now. And as you fight it, maybe you... As you actually fight it yourself, maybe you can garner up a support base that will actually get behind you and help you make change where you see problems over in China. I just disagree with trying to force the hand of other people by shame because that's what he's doing. He's trying to use media shame by calling out these players, calling out their deals, right, to get them on his side, right? You. If you continue this path in this counter, you're going to have what we call here at FYL Sports, a bunch of fans. You're going to have a whole bunch of fake ass ninjas behind you, right? They're just going to be there for the movement, which is what you have right now in this counter. You have a whole bunch of people who don't like LeBron. You have a whole bunch of people who don't like Jimmy Butler. They're using you to simply go with them and say they're not doing something for this particular social issue as if NBA players the thing and the funny thing is is you're looking to NBA players to solve these problems and they're just basketball players right they're, they're just basketball players when was it ever the NBA players job to change the, the world right we got governments in place we got diplomats in place we got all types of other political figures that could address these things more effectively yet he's crying about NBA players I think people's minds are just warped. And this is the world that we live in, where people think these athletes and entertainers have the all the, the, all the power in the world, right? And they don't, right? Because all these athletes and entertainers haven't done anything to fix social issues here in the US. And we got it better, right? This, this, you're talking about a country, a democratic country, where it should be much easier to get things changed and get things done. And we're still struggling, still dealing with systematic inequalities, social injustice and things of that nature, police brutality. All of these things still exist over here. Poverty, right? The wealth, the wage, the wealth gap. The, these things do exist, Enos Kanter. And so again, I implore all NBA players who Enos Kanter called out. I, what I want all of these NBA players to do is go pull up your agendas, look at any social agendas that you have written down in your notebooks or on your laptops, anything that you're really invested in. And you need to go to Enos Kanter and say, okay, what are you doing for the social injustices that I'm interested in? Enos Kanter needs to stop, man. And, and there's too many people gaslighting them, propelling them, boosting them up to do this goofiness because it's now starting to look ridiculous. The man is calling out these NBA players, yet is too scared to talk to him like a man about these issues or even discuss why he's putting their names in his mouth. He's putting, he's counting their dollars. He's worried about their money, their their business deals. Sounds like jealousy and hate from a man that's on his way out the league, desperately trying to find a way to cling to some type of fame that's gonna keep his face in front of a camera. 
You guys spam up the comments. Let me know what you think about this. All right, man, it's definitely something we need to talk about. Uh, it's just a move for me. I just don't respect it. I respect, I feel, I, I honestly feel like, again, if you feel a certain way about uh, uh, any particular issue, fight that fight on your own, man. Allow people to see you fight that fight and just naturally and organically, people will begin to follow you. People who have the same, the, 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 the same investment in that particular plight as you do. But every fight cannot be fought by everybody. It just don't make no sense. And it's just, just not how the world works. Right? You, you can't, you can't walk in the hospital. You, you can't go walk into the cancer unit and go look at all the people that are sitting here dying from cancer. And you're going to ask them, um, can you guys come support the, my age rally? Well, I'm sure those cancer patients care deeply about patients with AIDS, but they kind of have something else to kind of really focus in on. Their families, their plight right now, that's they're dealing with cancer. You need to get your own following to go deal with AIDS. And so in your case, the cancer that blacks are dealing with here in the U.S., the black athletes are dealing with that. Enos Canner, you want to deal with the AIDS, the, the, you know, the other issues over there in China. Well, you need to get your own following to go do that. Quit trying to get people to fight for you. Go do it yourself, man. You guys, let me know what you think about Enos Kanter, man. I'm starting to think is very is is very disingenuous what he's doing. I don't respect it, right? It's starting to look bad. He's jumping in front of cameras, running his mouth any chance he's get. He's too scared to talk to these players face to face like a man. He hasn't said a word to them, right? LeBron James talked about how he just walked past them. You feel so deeply about this. That you'll get on front of a camera and call out LeBron James. You got more access to LeBron James than most people. And when you see the man, you don't say a word, man. I call BS on Enos Kanter, man. I'm sick and tired of hearing about this. Uh, I'm, I'm sick and tired of hearing about this bench warmer who's trying to stay relevant, man. It's FYF Sports, man. Another great podcast video. Make sure you guys spam up the comments, man. I want to hear your thoughts on this one, man. Uh, but, man, this is sad. Uh, but yeah, look, yeah, when we go live soon, make sure you hit up the live. If you have any thoughts and comments on this particular topic, we can chop it up. Um, make sure you smash the like, hit the subscribe, man. This is the year of 100K subscribers, but we got to get there. It's only going to get there if you help make this channel ping in that algorithm. If you're not getting the notifications, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, right? We drop notifications for all videos over there. Just bump the notification bell and button over here. If you're not getting the notifications here, that's fine. What you can do is you can try to unsubscribe, resubscribe, and then hit that notification bell again. That's been uh, known to work over the past couple of weeks. So we can continuously try to do that if you're not getting the notifications. But you know what? We're not going to let a little notification bell button slow us down, man. We got the all my links button in the chat, man. Just click that right there. Go follow us on all social media platforms. Get notified when we go live or drop videos. All right, and help this channel grow. Hey, other than that, man, it's FYL Sports, man. It's been another great podcast episode. We're going to be back with more sports news. But until then, it's FYL Sports. And we out.